All right, this video is to show how you can make sure any wine you have in stainless steel variable volume tanks uh, will not be invaded by oxygen or will not cause the tops to pop open and ruin your wine. These are these wonderful spiral stainless steel tanks. They're variable volume, which means that you Put your wine or your must in here, whatever level, drop this down, and then let it sit on your wine, and then you pump it up. I'll pump this up a bit for you so you see what happens. Oops. Okay. You can see how this tube around here inflates, and that goes against the side of the tank, and it keeps your variable volume tank at exactly the right volume because you've got wine in it and it's coming up to the top of the or the bottom of this top and there's no air there okay which is a killer for wine here's here is the problem which many of you may have had is that in the early stages after fermentation, during monolactic fermentation, or whatever is taking place, sometimes the wine expands. Even though this room is kept at a constant temperature between 55 and 58 degrees, uh, it'll expand and then it'll push some of your wine, your good wine, out into this lid. You don't want that to happen. Uh, but that's not the worst thing. The worst thing is that after the first or second rack, at least I found this here, you put this down and you have it level with the, with the surface of the wine. You put the cap on it, this cap, and you pump it up and the volume decreases. Now I've got a theory on why that happens. I'm not sure it's true or not, but uh, chemical reactions are taking place. So when they take place, the molecules arrange themselves differently. You know, if you pour a gallon of water into a gallon of alcohol, you don't get two gallons of mixture, you get about 1.6 gallons because the molecules interlace. I think something's happening as wine ages because there's no evaporation here. This is stainless steel and these things are totally sealed. So something's happening, I found, where the uh, wine decreases in volume and what will happen is you're not always checking it, it'll suck air in here or it'll suck this thing down, boom, and ruin your uh, seal and your wine is ruined. So I looked on the internet and sure enough they have a solution for that. It's called a bleeder valve. You put this valve on here uh, and you connect it to a, I got CO2 blind here, uh, and you connect it to that and then if it's letting something out, CO2 or air, then that's okay, it bleeds. If it's sucking in, if it's losing volume, you replace it with CO2. Those bleeder valves cost 129 bucks each, plus you have to have a canister of CO2 for each one. That was too much trouble. So what I did, I took this cap, and it turns out that the inside diameter of this stem is about 1 and 3 eighths inches. So I took a drill, a 1 and 3 eighths drill, and this got a nice little indentation in it. I drilled a hole in there, and so, I ended up with a cap like this that has a hole in it. What good is a cap with a hole in it, you say? Well, here's what good it is. I got a box of non-powdered, powder-free, small latex gloves. All right? So I take one of these gloves and I stick it in this hole and put it around here. Screw it on. Ah, come on. Okay, there we go. Screw it on tight. Put this back in like that. Now, what's going to happen? If this wine expands or if fermentation continues and therefore CO2 is coming out, this glove is going to come out and it's going to get bigger. If the wine contracts, this glove is going to go in there and go down to the bottom 
and you're not going to lose uh, any wine and you're not going to reduce any air into your tank. Uh, how much would these things be able to take? Well, I'll show you here. A lot more than that, okay? Now, I've actually got this in use. This is my uh, Chardonnay, uh, 2015 Chardonnay, got 22 gallons in there. But you can see it was still fermenting even after the fermentation was almost stopped. It was 0 0.994, I think, a specific gravity. So I put this in there and there's pressure on it, obviously, which is keeping that balloon uh, pumped up. But because the pressure is from inside out, I'm not getting anything to my wine. I mean, uh, here is our, what is this? This is our Cabernet Sauvignon. Kind of hard to see. But here we got a question where the wine itself has kind of expanded. Uh, but it's not spilling on the top. And it is... Uh, protecting the wine that's in this tank from any contamination with the air. So there's the way if you've got a variable volume tank and you want to have an inexpensive way to prevent air going in or wine leaking out, uh, a latex glove uh, will do the trick.